while a stunning series of viral videos show New York City police officers being harassed, drenched in water, and even one hit in the head with a bucket as onlookers cheer and videotape it. Our next guest is now calling on the state to make such acts a felony. Here now, New York Assemblyman Mike LePetri. Mike, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, so you see these videos, and it, look, it almost feels like the police officers' hands are tied. You're saying this should be, this should be a crime. Absolutely. It's about New York State sending a message. I mean, this is a result of political rhetoric from coward politicians who wish to demonize and malign our law enforcement community just to score political po bonus points among their radical base. Yeah, I mean, so you're, the mayor here, the governor, a culture has been created where it seems like things like this are tolerated. And uh, you're saying without a bill that, that makes this a crime, it might not stop. Absolutely. I mean, you want to have it where this won't be tolerated with, with what you're seeing in the community. I mean, Law enforcement has to be able to react, and sometimes you need a voice to protect law enforcement because what you're seeing today is quite the opposite. How would, you, how would your law classify these kinds of activities? Anybody that would throw or spray water or any other substance onto law enforcement while in their official capacities would be punishable by a crime of a Class C felony, which was, could be provided by prison of one to four years. So one to four years, depending on it. Because you say water or any substance. When I look at these videos... I mean, yeah, you assume it's water. It probably is water. But what if it's laced with something else? I mean, this can escalate pretty quickly. Yeah, well, what if it's gasoline? All you yeah. need is one little bit just like that, and then it's over. So you can't, this is just the beginning part of it, and you have to nip it in the bud before it grows even worse. Now, you represent portions of Long Island, uh, obviously, like everywhere, big law enforcement uh, community there. What are cops these days saying about what it's like to be on the beat? It is so difficult because it's so sad when you have Mayor Bill de Blasio, who uses his platform and now the national stage to burn rather than build bridges between the law enforcement and the community. And that's what's a shame that you're seeing. It's pathetic and disgusting. It's disgraceful. Uh, Bill de Blasio says that President Trump not welcome in New York City after his presidency's over. What do you say about that? Yeah, well, listen, Bill de Blasio isn't welcome in Long Island. So that's what <laughs> I have to say about that. Okay. Uh, so this bill, you, you've introduced it. What are the likelihood that it moves on? Things like like that. Well, it's a matter of if New York State elected officials support our law enforcement, then, then they'll support this bill. Plain and simple. It's a matter of putting pressure on people to show actions speak louder than words. So why would people not support this? Why would they not support this? Yeah. Because you have a radical base that cares about creating anarchy than actual law and order. It's about safety in our communities, period. And if you have problems with the laws, then go after elected officials to change those laws. But don't go after the people, the men and women in blue, that defend our communities and enforce these laws. Absolutely. Very well said. Mike LePetri, New York Assemblyman. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Come back. Appreciate it.